Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. Vamos a ver la tienda. Hoy veo que les ha agarrado la tarde. ¿Estará lloviendo por allá? ¿Cómo está? <clears throat> Is it raining in your house? In San Salvador, no, teacher. Here in San Salvador, either. It's cloudy, but not raining. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Um, Already home? No, ahorita voy saliendo, pero voy de lado de Santana ahorita, así que de, creo que unos 40 minutos estoy por la casa. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ahí la aviso. Bueno, ya está más fácil que ayer, ¿verdad? Es que ayer en los chorros, así que mm, casi bueno. medianoche. Bien. ¿A qué hora llegó? 11 y 30. Y bien, le dije yo, va a llegar tipo medianoche con ese derrumbe sí, que estaba 11 y 30. Ahí. Y lo, el tráfico para arriba lo pararon, por eso es que comenzaron a avanzar para abajo. Sí, y es que lo que hacen ahí es partir el carril, el único que está bueno, ¿verdad? Sí, pero entonces ahí lo que hicieron fue cerrarlo completamente, el de arriba, y solo para abajo estuvieron pasando, por eso que pasamos. wow ¡Qué tremendo! Pero vaya, qué bueno que hoy es otra historia, ¿verdad? Y que ya, ya va avanzando. <coughs> Vamos a ver. Ya vemos once. Eh, nice, nice, nice. Vamos a ver, Adriana, Sofía. <coughs> Present. Okay. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana, Ana. Uh -huh. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. No está Ana Grisel. David. Present. Diego Batres, Diego Diego, Edwin, Elda Cristina, present teacher, Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michel, present teacher. Ivon Marcela. Ivon Ivon. Eh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. Jessica, no. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Karen Karen. Carla Lorena. Carla. Lise Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Sulema. Nubia. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. <coughs> Yo vi por allá a Víctor. Víctor, Víctor. Víctor, 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 hello. Karen Estefan. Hello. 
Good evening. Hi. How are you, Anna? Yeah, better, teacher, you better. Okay. Se puso lo Can que le Eh, Victor. I'm saying Victor, 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 Victor. Because I saw you were there. Bien. Karen Stephanie. Karen, Karen. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José. Alfredo. Vaya, voy a repetir por alguno que se ha conectado después de que lo llamé. Analicia. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Grisel. Diego. Edwin. Elmer Fabricio. Ivon Marcela. Jessica. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Para internet, no hay. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Nubia. Present teacher. Es Karen Stephanie. José Alfredo. Ok. Bueno. Remember, uh, yesterday we were talking about transitions, right? We were talking about transitions of addition. And we said that we use those transitions when we want to add something else. And we're making very long sentences, right? So we have two very long sentences and we want to join one with the other, adding something extra, some extra information. Or when you are joining two paragraphs, see? <clears throat> well, today we go back. We go back to talk about a product testing vocabulary, right? So you're going to, you're not going to suffer too much with the grammar point today. We're talking about product testing vocabulary. That's, I'm sure. <clears throat> 17, verdad. 17, yo le he dejado 16. Eso pasa cuando, después. <laughs> <laughs> le cambio la B y le pongo 15. Oh, my God. Sorry. Vaya. Ahí está. Eso pasa cuando la dejo hecha el día anterior. Le pongo la, la fecha de ese día. Bye. So, we're talking about product testing. What is product testing? Who can tell me? What is product testing? Mm -hmm. When you when you make things, do things to test the product. Okay, yes. There are different types of tests that we use for, for testing a product. What are those types of tests that we can do? Survey. For example, what are some examples or test examples that we can use? Mm -hmm. The tests. Ah, el monadic test. Aha, monadic test. 
use in this. Uh -huh, use to... I'm handling teacher. Ha, 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 exactly. Sight and handling. What about this one? How do you call that test? Where and you the call... compare. The compare. Uh -huh, exactly. Paired and comparison test. And when you do not see the brand, how do you call it? Brand test. The blind, uh, branded. The blind test and the opposite, that would be the branded test, right? Also, <clears throat> during these days, we have been talking about some vocabulary like this. The targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. Remember yesterday that you were reading uh, some information about product testing. You were finding vocabulary like this when we were talking about the focus groups, right? And tomorrow we will continue talking about focus group. So be before we go there again, we're going to see this type of examples because this vocabulary came out when talking about the focus group. So what do we refer to when we say targeted sample, when we say random sample, when we talk about the competitive threat, and when we talk about unbiased? What does it mean unbiased? What you're going to do right now, check the instructions, it says, Ah, go online, go online to find out more about key terms related to product testing, right? So find out about target sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. Hola, teacher. Get uh, the definition, right, of each of them in... After getting the definition, write a sentence. Write a sentence using each of the terms. So find out what they mean and write a sentence using each term. Okay? I'm going to send you, let's see, how many are we? How many are we? Um, we're 17. Okay, Jose Alfredo de Oyente. Tengo también a quien quiero ver. Tengo dos oyentes. Mm -hmm. Dayanara, Alberto, Karen y Jose Alfredo. Bueno, los que estamos, lo voy a, voy a hacer los grupos manuales, entonces, vamos a ver. Mm, I guess we can make eh, three groups. Or four. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ok. Adriana Marcela, hoy sí está, está de oyente. Adriana Marcela. Adriana. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, ¿qué? Aquí estoy en la clase. Ah, va, ok. Es que le di opción. ¿Está en la clase o está de oyente? <ríe> Bye. Ok, está muy bien. Va, tengo a Adriana Marcela, Adriana Sofía, Alicia y le voy a poner a Alfredo que, está, que va a estar de oyente ahorita. Uh -huh. va, si no me alcanzan, le voy a ir a quitar a una persona después. Vamos a ver, David, David Alexander Rodríguez, lo veo dos veces. Bueno, lo voy a mandar dos veces al mismo puesto. <ríe> lo, veo con, lo veo con dos dispositivos. Lo que pasa es que, como salí de la oficina, estaba en la compu y ahorita me conecté con el teléfono. Ah, ya, ya. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, quizás quedó abierta la sesión, pero no hay problema, ¿verdad? No, no problem, no problem. Vaya. Si no me llegaron a la casa, me salgo de una. 
Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver, tengo a David, Elda, Grace y vamos a mandar aquí a Rebeca. Ya me olvidaron quiénes eran los oyentes. ¿Qué memoria, teacher? Pero me están poniendo vitamina. <ríe> a mejorar la memoria. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, Diego, Jennifer, Elizabeth. Vamos a mandar aquí a Nubia y a Rosy. Ah, pues cabal, miren, solo voy a dejar tres grupos. Porque Alberto está oyente, Diego también. Y Karen. Ah, bueno, aquí hay dos oyentes que se han puesto que van a estar de oyentes con no están. Bueno, ah, pues solo dos tengo, tres. Vaya. Ok. Ahí está. Let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter as it's not a conversation. You can be more, more in the group. Okay, so what you're going to do right now is find out the meaning of the of the words there and then write a sentence using each of them. There you go. Try to join. Check, check, nice. Who will share the, the screen? I can share it. Okay, thank you. We, we are Somebody going to can. look for, a, for, for, ah, no puedo Okay. I can I'm share. In, I'm in the cell phone. I don't, I have the, the screenshot, but. No, di, me salió un, un mensaje. El anfitrión inhabilitó la función de compartir Ay, la no pantalla. No le creo, no le creo. <ríe> sí. Es la culpa de la teacher. <ríe> Sí, ahí está. Thank you very much. No le di la opción que siempre le doy habilitado. Ya me van a llamar de algún grupo. <ríe> Somebody try. Okay. It. Okay. Targeted sample. Okay. Target, targeted sample. We'll go online. Uh -huh. No problema, ¿verdad? Que nos metamos a internet. ¿Sí? Que se metan a internet, no hay problema, pero no compartan lo de internet. Ah, ok. Ajá, si sí, no hay problema, si se meten siempre y cuando no estén compartiendo. Ah, pues no comparta, Adriana. I am going to look for... Voy a ir a ver otro grupo mientras comparten. Okay, first we can uh, search about the first term, uh, target sample. What is the product? Mm. 
Um, no, we need to search about the definition of mm -hmm. each word or each uh, key terms and then use that that words in a sentence. Exactly. I found this third, third sample is a systematic method by which controller the list of a specific, a specific population wherein geographical directories are development and details plan are designing. Um, I found another. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Read the definitions that you found with your partner. <clears throat> and then you make the sentence, right? Okay. I found this one. It, target sample means an official sample which is taken with the aim of detecting an illegal trade treatment or a non -com compliance with the maximum residual limits or maximum levels established under union legislation of pharmacologically active substance. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dice? Ejemplo de... ¿Cómo? Teacher, nos está costando dominar estos conceptos. Ah, use a dictionary. <laughs> use a dictionary. In the target 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 the sample is necess, is necessary mm -hmm. know that light and expectatives of the customer um, Oh. Uh -huh. What is the definition for targeted sample? It's a, a select the group for the guild. 
uh, know that uh, information about that one product characteristic um, uh, forms price but it's <laughs> um, Ajá, vamos bien, vamos bien. <laughs> that company uh -huh. select that group of the people uh -huh. and ask for por medio de through through, through a a questions a, how the, about that any product okay and what is the difference in between the targeted sample and the random sample what teacher what is the difference between the targeted sample and the random sample <laughs> The target sample, mm -hmm. you uh, sell it a group in specific in and the uh, random. Uh -huh. And the random, you select different people. El que pasando iba. <laughs> uh -huh. People who, who don't, who uh, we don't know. Uh -huh, exactly. Like, for example, in the, um, um, in the, uh, how do you say, the shopping mall, mm -hmm. sometimes um, there are another people that, that, como que, ay, que no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero como que toma la referencia de las personas que van pasando. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. This one and this one and this one, right? It's not like a selected group because of a, a specific characteristic, but just because you were passing and you're there, volunteer to do it, come on, do it, right? That's random. Mm -hmm. Nice. Are yes, you? they they ask yeah. us if we have time to to respond something or to um, give an and like opinion about something exactly exactly yeah uh, an example teacher of targeted sample is uh, for exa is for example for the product of diaper mm -hmm. is that is a, a targeted sample a targeted market because is a range since zero, zero months to maybe three years so you, who will be your targeted sample in that case, if we're talking about a diaper? Um, yes, uh, only only uh, family, only family. That uh, have a baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And a random sample would be? A random sample would be for a, uh, uh, for example, a product uh, could be uh, for soap, for soap for take a shower. Uh, everybody take a shower, everybody use a soap. Okay, okay, so you can take whoever, right? No, yes. you don't, you won't pay attention to specific characteristic of the person to choose the person, it can be whoever. Okay, very good. Now go for the other two. And remember that when you finish or you know what they are, you will write a sentence using each of these uh, words, right? Or key terms. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> of kind. 
of Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Or of people. Too. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interview. The interview. Were given to a random sample of candidates. candidates. Okay. Competitive trial. It's a competition that hasn't occurred but has potential to occur. In other words, it is a risk of competition. As with any risk, a competitive trip has a prob probability and impact and may be treated. The pro competitive trip is um, as a com is compared to pro with other of the same class or the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe we can say Coca-Cola have a competitive treat with Pepsi. Mm, yes. Okay. That's competitive. Pepsi. And the last one, Bicet. Bicet. India.
Sí, sí. Give. Give. Eh, the information. More specific. about the characteristic of the one product. Characteristic? For one product. One product. Dr. Gutsanka gave the information more specific about, ahí me pasé al otro. I charge sample given the information more specific about the characteristics for the products. No, y en characteristics, creo que lleva a, a, a H. Characteristics, así. Mm -hmm. Así, no, verdad? Sí. Ok. And the random sample, the information is, is more that simple. Yes, like, no like, do, uh, yes, I like it, not I like. The information? Is more simple. Simple se escribe igual, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. About the uh, one product. About one product. Uh -huh. Competitive. The low prices. But remember that there, what you have to do now that you know the meanings, right? What you have to do is write a sentence using the word. No están escribiendo la definición, sino que una oración usando la palabra. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así es que la palabra puede quedar en medio, puede estar al final, puede estar al principio, no problem, porque lo que van a hacer es utilizarla en una oración. Uh -huh. 
-huh. For example, with the target sample, I uh, obtain. Mm -hmm. For example, with that target sample, I obtain, I obtain, obtain, okay. In Best result. Datos, como se dice? Datos. Data. Datos específicos o características específicas okay. de mi producto. Specific characteristics. Okay. Characteristic about the My product about about my product. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuáles faltan? Todas las anteriores. No se lo hemos hecho. Target sample I obtain specific characteristics about my product. Now random sample. Random sample. You can you can uh, read you can write um random sample is a method to offer no, hay que hacer una oración aplicando random sample. Ok. In the random sample. Uh, you can you can write you can write um, the cheese supplier was was making random sample así es the cheese o sea los proveedores de queso the cheese supplier ah. the cheese uh -huh. the cheese supplier was making Random sample in the supermarket. <laughs> yes, yes. Competitive fluid. Ah, pero, pero, pero. Competitive. ¿Qué mismo? No, hasta ahí, hasta donde supermarket. So, eh, competitive fluid es la siguiente. Mm -hmm. Es la next. Ah, sí, perdón. I think could be low prices. <coughs> Is is a bigger is a bigger is a biggest a biggest it's a big, biggest big. it's the biggest the biggest ah, is the biggest yes 
is the biggest. Okay. Instead, instead A changed to T H A E. Da. Mr. Low Davis? prices. Low prices is the biggest competitive threat. Competitive threat. Ah, perfect. Teacher, tiene que ir con capital letter in this. Vamos. No uh, the biggest. No, no, no. No, competitive threat. Competitive, no necessary. Okay. Allá porque estaba al principio, por eso estaba sin capital R. Mm, okay. Competitive Repeat, please. Competitive threats. For new products. For new products. Yes. For new product. That's all. Um, teacher, mm -hmm. how the pronunciation is unbiased? Unbiased. 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 And what's the word? Unbiased. 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 Mm -hmm. Unbiased. 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 What does it mean, unbiased? Mm -hmm. What is unbiased? Que no tiene bias, ¿verdad? <laughs> ¿Y qué es un bias? Más imparcial. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Ambiance es imparcial. That includes children, young, teenager, adult people. That's a refer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that could be uh, that could be water, water, the yeah, hour. Water. Water. Mm -hmm. Is for. Is correct to say water is for unbiased people. Water. Yes. Mm. Bueno. See, if what you're saying is that you're taking some bottles of water for the people that are that are biased, it's okay. But that means that you won't give water to everybody in the focus group, just for the ones that are unbiased. Mm -hmm. O sea, si alguien está inclinado hacia algún partido, algún lado, no le va a dar agua. Solo le va a dar imparciales. Y pudiera ser, por ejemplo, alguien que, por ejemplo, alguien que, que es muy así como adicto a cierto producto, pero hay alguien que le da lo mismo, que, 
sea bueno o no, cueste lo que cueste, o sea, le da igual, pues. Ajá, like with, like with some products that you say, bueno, si este está más barato, este compro, o sea, no estoy casado con la marca, right? Mm -hmm. That you have like, for example, if talking about coffee, there mm -hmm. you can have like two or three different types of coffee that you consume and you buy the one that is cheaper in the moment, right? In that case, you may okay. be biased. You don't go like, okay, only this coffee and I cannot buy another one. Then you will have a bias. Okay, um, I, have, I have an idea. Okay. Okay, could be, um, who is writing? Who is writing? I don't understand, sorry. Who is writing? No, no, I don't understand. Okay, the oración sería así. Um, the product tester. Product tester. Was analyzing. Repeat, please. Was analyzing. Was analyzing. 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 Analyzing ING G. Ah, perdón, aquí esto está bien. Y de gato, ahí está bien. No, la G le falta al final. ING. Ah. Was analyzing the sample in in a unbiased way. Uh -huh. In an, in an, Rosy. In an, an unbiased way. In an unbiased way. Unbiased way. Unbiased, the teacher with T. Unbiased. 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 That's a baya. Unbiased. That's all. And uh, let let's see. Let check. Let <laughs> check. Hay que celebrarlo. Okay. ¿Qué falta? Estamos todos ya listo. Uh -huh. Are we ready to open in the general group? <laughs> yes. We are ready. Oh. Um. Rosa Borre, please. Eraser the first um that's 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 line all results are unbiased. Oh it's correct. No problem, teacher. No problem, that's okay. 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 Why an aggressive? Y por eso le dejé bastante espacio porque es diferente oración. Sí. Okay. Ahí está, sí, ¿verdad? Ya nos podemos. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Captúrenlo, no se les vaya a borrar cuando cierre. No lo voy a guardar ya. Nos ha costado. Ready, 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 ready. Ya. Yes. Yes. Ok. Before we check, I'm going to call attendance because 
And if no, we will forget later. Ready, ready. Sí, verdad, ya vinieron todos. Vamos a ver. Oh, nine seconds. A ver quién se ha quedado por allí. Perfect. Okay. Vaya, tell me present. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, Diego. Diego, Diego. Por ahí andaba Diego. Sí. Mm -hmm. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. No está Edwin. Ah, pues soñé que lo vi. Está. Ok. ¿El la Cristina? Present teacher. Helmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Ivon Marcela. Ivon Ivon. ¿Qué han sabido de Ivonne? Ya no la hemos visto. Teacher, ella es de, como es jefa y ahorita ha estado en unas capacitaciones y, y han venido los jefes de Guatemala. Entonces ha pasado en reuniones y no se ha podido conectar por eso mismo. Ándale, y aparte está estudiando, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Okay. Sí, porque no le he visto toda esta semana. Ya bien me lo controlo yo cuando lo veo y cuando no. Vamos a ver, Jennifer, here, right, Jennifer. Present. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. Present, teacher. Hey, hoy sí le sonó el micro, Mary Webb. Eh, José Alberto. José Alberto. Present, teacher. Present. Nice. Karen Janet. Karencita se nos ha perdido. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. No, Carla. Lice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Marcela Rebeca. No, Rebeca Marcela. Estoy listo. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Que uno mira al revés. <ríe> ok, Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Rosy Rosy. Present teacher, perdón, se me había trabado esto. Perdimos a Rosy. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Nice. Karen Stephanie. No, Karen. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Ahí está, vea tú. Faltan uno, dos. Tres, cuatro, cinco. ¿Quién no me dijo present? Edwin. 
Okay, do we know here, right? No, here. Give you a oh, okay. oh, wait. Oh, wait. eighteen here, but you were you were nineteen a couple of minutes ago. But bueno, bueno, bueno. Let's check. Going back, vamos a ver. Let's go to the conversations. To the conversation. Mm -hmm. Bash. We have the words targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. What is targeted sample? Check. Targeted sample is a, a targeted sample is where a sample of the subject matter, be that people, plants, animals, etc., is selected using certain criteria. So I have a criteria, right? In my criteria, I can say pregnant mothers between the ages of 25 to 30 years old. If you're not pregnant, you cannot be part of this because the criteria is that you are pregnant. If you are 31 years old or if you are 24, you cannot be part. In this case of this sample, right, of this targeted sample, because I'm looking for pregnant women, uh, women between the age of 25 to 30, right? So remember, a targeted sample is a group of people, can be plants, they say animals or whatever, that they have to comply with certain criteria. Targeted samples are usually used by businesses or companies carrying out service on a particular group of people. For example, if you're looking for, um, if you want to, to share some information that are very specific just for women, at a specific age, your criteria will be women of that specific age. And if you have, for example, if a man passes, you won't take it as a targeted sample because a man doesn't comply with the criteria that you have, that this group of people that you're going to interview or that you're going to pass the survey or whatever, should be women, right? A part of that, in this case, on this product, it should be a woman. It should be a woman that is pregnant. And it should be a woman that is between those ages of 25 and 30, including 25 and 30, right? If another person passes or completes the, the, the survey that is not between this age, doesn't comply with that criteria that we're talking about, right? Bye. What will happen if I want to, if I want to make, or if I want to test makeup, but that makeup for a covering a acne, for example, or for covering manchitas or uh, freckles. You have to look for specific people who have those characteristics to be part of the targeted uh, sample. That's the criteria. Now, the other, well, now, now that we are clear with the phrase or with the meaning of targeted sample, I want to listen to your examples. Where you were using that word. Aha, group number one. Give me your sentence, Anna's group. Anna, Anna. Hola. Eh, maybe Adriana Sofia can help us better. Okay. I, I think we're. We are confused. 
Why you just because you just have to give me a sentence. No, because okay. I can I, I think I can make a, a sentence right now. Bye. Remember, okay. chicos, the, the, the instructions were go online, find out about these terms, and write a sentence using each keyword. See? ¿Sí? Claro. A yes. sentence only. We find the term, but we we write the definition of each concept, but Bye. we don't have <laughs> the, the sentence. By all inventing. You have one. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sí, miren, hasta se lo subrayé. Write a sentence using each key term. So the idea of you going to investigate because you needed to know before eh, you share. Y, y ni modo, que ya no las pude ir a ver porque estaban compartiendo Google. Y si están compartiendo Google, yo no puedo estar ahí. ¿Verdad? Porque me va a penalizar YouTube. Así es que ni modo, pero bueno, a ver, a ver, Sofi, chame. Ok. <laughs> For the targeted sample, the group, uh, the criteria used uh, was gender and age. What gender, what age? A gender female age a 15 to 25 years. What products, what product were you thinking about testing there? A new magazine. Oh, okay. A new magazine. About a fashion, beauty, and about gossip, uh, uh, gossips. Famous gossips. About famous people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Very good. A ver, group number two was. Where group number two? David. It was David's group who were in David's group. Pero ya voy a ver porque no me hacen trampa. Y aquí los puedo vigilar. Vamos a ver. Group number two, David, Elda, Elner, Grace, Michelle, is that Diana and Rebecca? Ajá. Who will give me the sentence? Mm. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay, you, you. Don't worry because you have four <laughs> sentences, right? You can take turns. Ajá. Who is you, you? Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. Um, the sentences is for the test in April, we need a target sample of young people from 15 to 20 years old. Okay. What is the product there? Um, I knew. A new cream of the of the date. Okay. McDonald cream. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go for room number three. Is Diego, Jennifer, Jose Alberto, Nubia, Zulema, Rosail, and Victor. Mm -hmm. Our sentences is target sample. I obtain a specific characteristic about my, my product. Okay, okay, very good. Now let's go to the next term. We have a ver, random sample. We said random sample, it's a, a simple random sample is a subset of a statistical population in which each member of the subset has an equal probability of being chosen. Pasando iba, venga, you, 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 you. So everybody has the same probability because we're not taking into account any criteria. 
Is it a man? No problem. Is it a woman? No problem. Is it a teenager? Is it an adult? An, an elderly? No problem, right? There is no a criteria to choose these people. So everybody, each member has an equal probability of being chosen. A simple random sample is meant to be an unbiased representation of a group. An example of a simple random sample would be the names of 25 employees being chosen out of a hat from a company of 250 employees. Right, so we have 250 employees and we say, okay, this, 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 this. But you're not paying attention to this one because she's a woman, this one because she's 50, this one. No, just taking out, uh, as the name says, at random, right? In this case, the population is all 250 employees and the sample is random because each employee has an equal chance of being chosen, right? And here, um, it is usually, well, something very important, remember, it's the, the, the amount of people that you take as a sample. And in this case, if we have 250 employees, we're taking 25 employees, that would be a good sample. It's like a 10% of the population, right? That's why if you see uh, sometimes for some important aspects that have to be taken into account in the country, they choose to interview or to pass the survey about 100 or 200 people, depending on what they are looking for, right? And if they want it to be representative. If, check this. If we want to check something, but we just, uh, something that will affect the whole country, right? We have to take people from San Salvador, from San Miguel, from Santa Ana, see at random. Not just people from San Salvador, see? Or not just people from a specific university. It has to be people from here, there, 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 there. And that's why you sometimes get interviews on the phone right? Because they need to have people from all over the country. Uh, when you have, for example, a specific product that is sold everywhere, they want to know what are uh, the opinions of random people everywhere around the country. If the product is only in San Salvador, the survey can be passed only in San Salvador and just to sample people, right? Not too many people because it would be very complicated to, to get the results, but it has to be big enough to be representative for the quantity or, or for the population, we can say. But shall give me your example for random sample? Group number one. Hoy le toca a José Alfredo. Random sample. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, hello, nota. A ver, somebody from group number one who wants to make the sentence with random sample. Remember that as you have to use the word, it doesn't matter if it is in the middle, in the beginning or at the end, because you're using the phrase or the word in a sentence, right? Volunteer. Volunteer. Group number one. Me perdieron todos del grupo número uno. Ana. Ana, Ana, Ana. I am here, teacher, and I am looking at one uh, sentences. No, es que we, no we were the... confused. We were confused. We... Ana, Ana. Ya I sabes am... qué significa. Invéntese la oración, no la busquen. Esa tiene que venir de Kibi. 
no la busquen. You don't have to look for a sentence. You have to make the sentence. Mm -hmm. Vamos, pero en cosas me han hecho, cosas más complicadas me han hecho. Esto solo es una oracióncita. Go, go, go. For the random sample, we choose uh, 35 employees for the manufactured, manufactured area. Okay, from the manufacturer area. Mm. But then it's not. I a, think it's a. Uh -huh. uh -huh, it's not a random sample because. For the, for all the uh -huh. uh, fabric. Exactly. If you want it to be a random sample, it has to be from the company. If it uh -huh. is only from the manufacturer area, we will go to this one. It's a targeted sample because it is complying with a criteria. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good, uh -huh. So what you have to do there is, ch is just change instead of from the production area, you say from the company. Yeah, from all the company in general. So you can take people from the production area, from administrative area, from every, every all the company, right? Just change the last, the last word. Thank you, Adriana Marcela. Aver number two, Grace and Chill, tell me. Senorita Grace. Señorita Grace, 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 no here. Grace. Yes, teacher. Basha, give me your yes, here. Uh, sorry, I don't understand. ¿Qué es lo que pidió? Read here. To my group, random sample. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The sentence that you did with your group. Yes. Um, take one moment. Uh, the interview were given to a random sample of candidate. Candidate? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay when you say candidate is open right very good thank you thank you number three eh, rosy ya me dijo verdad rosy me dijo no who gave me the sentence rosy you verdad no yes. it was Victor. quien me dio la oración anterior me ah va ah, pues hoy le vamos a pedir a Victor. Victor, Victor. Okay. Use the word. Uh -huh. Random sample. Okay. Uh, our sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, our sentence is uh, the cheese supplier was making random sample in the supermarket. Was making a random sample, That's was something. choosing a random sample. Because remember, the random sample are the people that you're taking. Uh, for the, for, for, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Was choosing. For the, for 
is cheese for the uh, for it. Se me hizo robotito. Victor. Yes. <laughs> Se me hizo robotito. Is that the cheese suppliers? The cheese the cheese supplier. I'm sorry. Is unstable. The internet connection is unstable. Yeah, maybe it's going to rain. But I was uh, saying mm -hmm. uh, our sentence is is the cheese supplier was making. Random sample in the supermarket for its product. For their products. Sorry, for their products. Ok, ok, ok. Va, ahí solo le voy a cambiar el verbo. Instead of was making a random sample, porque no puede hacer un random sample. Pero you can make a, or you can pass a survey to a random sample. ¿Ya? Yeah? I don't know if, if you catch the idea. Was passing the survey of the product to a random sample. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Porque el random sample no es un test, sino que es la gente que usted coge así, porque usted venga, usted, 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 porque el que iba pasando, y no importa si se pega algún criterio o no, Pero como va pasando, venga, sí. Right? Ah, usted está libre, venga, 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 venga. And, and like that. So, a, a agarrar, and that's why the word says random, right? Al azar. Al azar. So, the, the survey was passed to a random sample. No nos fijamos yeah. que fuera mujer, que fuera hombre, que tuviera cierta edad, que fuera mamá. No. Just because you are a person, you can do it, right? Vamos a ver the next Some one. Question. Uh -huh. eh, cuando se refiere en este, en este caso, en un random sample, puede ser también muestras aleatorias de un de X producto en algún proceso. Sí. Por ejemplo, en mi, en mi caso, ¿ah? Sometimes in my work, I take a random sample of the product in process. Mm -hmm. However, not all the, however, not all the random sample give the sample. Uh -huh. But if, in that case, if you say a random sample, es como que alguien va pasando y usted le da un Some companies have different products, right? But yeah. I'm going to give you a sample of any product that I have in my company, not necessarily something specific for every person. But okay, I have here, I have uh, makeup, right? Makeup in general. So I have lipsticks, I have some powder, eyeshadows, eyeliners, and I'm going to take one to give to anybody who's passing. In that case, that's a random sample of product see mm -hmm. of product but in this case as we're talking about a uh, passing a survey when we're talking about the marketing right that we want to test the product and we want to see how the product will be accepted by people then as we cannot ask everybody in the country we get some people just some uh, random people, yeah, just to answer the survey. And like that, with that random uh, sample of people in the country, we can know if the product will be accepted or not. But in the previous one, no. When we're talking about targeted sample, I have a product for women. I only look for women. My product is cremante arrugas. I'm going to look for women that are starting to get green calls. 
I'm not going to give the product, or I'm not going to pass the survey to a 15, 20 year old girl that green costs are far to get, right? I can choose somebody that is about 45 to 70, 80 years old, right? In the targeted, in the previous one, right? In the targeted example, because I follow a criteria. In this one, no. I have X product and I pass the survey about that product to everybody, right? Oh, anybody can be part of the sample. And that's why it says that everybody, I mouse, what are you? That everybody has an equal probability of being chosen. You're a man good, you're a good man good, you can complete my survey because I'm not concentrated just in some specific people. It can be a, a when you're passing a product or when you're passing a survey about a product that can be used by anybody like the shampoo or the soap for taking a shower or some detergent that you're testing or if you're testing oil or something that you know anybody can use it at home, right? Anybody will use it so I don't need to pay attention to who you are or to a specific criteria because anybody can use the product, right? In this case, I can take a random sample, but it will depend on the product I am testing. See, if I'm testing makeup, I cannot use a random sample. I have to comply with a criteria and that criteria will be that you have to be a woman. See? Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we make that difference. But yeah, uh, and if in my game, uh, we we'll be uh, testing them. Can you repeat that, Elmer? In este caso, como lo que le decía era que muestreamos el producto en proceso, es decir, sacamos muestras aleatorias del, del producto que estamos elaborando. Ajá, ajá. Tienen Entonces, varios. Sería, Varios productos en diferentes etapas. Eh, el mismo producto en diferentes etapas. Es decir, vamos transformando, eh, por decir algo. Transformamos el, vaya, el, la caña de azúcar, se convierte en jugo. Y lo que testeamos es en la calidad del jugo para mm. que se convierta al final en azúcar. Ok. Entonces, esa muestra siempre sería random sample o, o sería testing the product. Vaya, pero es la, eh, la usted está testing the product con a random sample of people. Lo que es ah, no, no. random sample of people. Ajá, uh -huh. no product. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sí, con la explicación ahí, por eso me quedaba ya la Ajá, lo que Exacto. Lo que está ahí en random sample es la gente. El, uh -huh. el, el product, lo que usted está haciendo con el product al dar así en diferentes etapas del proceso, You are testing the product during the process. Process. exactly. You mm -hmm. testing the pro the product during the process. Remember, one of these days we were saying that it is very important to test the product. The sooner the better, because you can uh, change things. Right, that at the beginning you thought they were the right one, but when you take them to test, you can get different opinions. So for testing that product is that you need this random sample. As you're talking about juice, anybody can test it, right? Any mm -hmm. people can test it, but you have different steps or different moments to test the product, but that will be testing, mm -hmm. testing the product with random samples. Porque me imagino que ustedes le dan el jugo a cualquiera que, que pase, que lo pruebe y que dé su opinión. Mm, eh, no, en este caso es, um, ¿cómo explicarle? No probamos el jugo, sino que solo conocemos eh, el nivel de acidez o qué tan diluido va para que en el siguiente proceso no vayamos a tener demoras por la transformación del, 
de jugo a cristales de azúcar. Ok, pero Creo lo que... revisa Ajá. un equipo, digamos, de la, de la compañía. Sí, correcto, una máquina, una máquina, por decirlo. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ajá, eso es testing. Sí, sí, sí. Eso es okay. testing. ¿Se acuerda cuando hablábamos de que eh, when testing the product, lo llevamos a una situación extrema para poder ver la calidad, si de verdad cumple con todos los requerimientos que yo tenía pensado al principio cuando originé la idea del producto? Sí, sí, me acuerdo. <ríe> Exacto. Entonces, eso se llama testing. Ya cuando usted saca, por ejemplo, una survey y se la pasa a, por decir algo, 25 o 30 personas hacia al azar para que le den su opinión sobre cierto producto, ese grupo de personas que agarramos así porque venga usted, usted sí. no me pase, complete mes de survey, ese es el random sample. Pero es un random sample de, de, de la gente. Ese random sample no? sería como también de, para conocer eh, la satisfacción. Exacto, exacto. Sí. Porque no puedo tomar la... mucha gente, ¿verdad? Entonces ocupo sí. un sample. Uh -huh. sí. Un sample. De una población necesitamos la muestra. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Vaya, now let's go to competitive threats. What is competitive threat? Check. The threat of new entrants refer to the threat that new competitors pose to current players. O sea, cuando hablamos de current players, hablamos, eh, nos referimos a los productos que ya existen. ¿sí? Ya existen estos productos. And the new entrants are the new products that are beginning to, to exist. It is one of the forces that shape the competitive landscape of an industry and helps determine the attractiveness of an industry. O sea, se da una competition. And that's why everybody starts improving their products, right? Because there is a competition. Yeah. The other forces are a competitive rivalry, que es rivalry, un rival, right? Bargaining power of buyers. O sea, ahí está que si sí, este comprador yo lo convenzo que ya no compre aquel producto que ya existe, que compre el mío que es nuevo. Remember yesterday, eh, we were talking about those products that when they start, They take the place, they may take the place of a brand that already exists. Se acuerdan, when we were talking about positioning, those products that exist, oh, one they have, I have here this product and the other one that is new. And this new product is accompanying this one and I sell the two products, right? Oh, This new product comes to substitute the old one. And the new one continues and the old one is taken out, right? So the, the purpose here of the competitive threat is to take or to substitute the product that already existed, right? And When we say bargaining, is a uh, bargain es como que te doy, yo te doy más que la que él te da, right? So uh, bargaining of power. So I have this, but that doesn't, doesn't have it. I give you more, right? And then the new product, that's, that's why it is a threat. ¿Se acuerdan cuando hablábamos del FODA? that we were talking about the threats, see, ¿sí? in the SWOT analysis. What is that? Amenaza. An amenaza, exactly. And then the competitive threat is that a new company that is appearing, that there are some little companies that go like growing, growing, growing very fast. And when you remember when we were talking about cannibalism, 
¿Se acuerdan? Del cannibalism. What, ¿Qué hace un caníbal? ¿Qué hace? Eat humans. Mm -hmm, exactly. Se lo come, right? And then a competitive threat can come to eat the other company. I don't know if you have heard the, the term. Esta empresa es demasiado grande, se comió a la empresa más pequeña. Have you heard that? I have an example. Ajá. Eh, Huawei is a competitive threat to Android. Yes. Yes, that's a competitive threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, if we talk about Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola, they have always eh, have this rivalry. Yeah. Sometimes Coca-Cola... Eh, there was in history that Coca-Cola changed the recipe, the recipe and then Pepsi-Cola went up. But then Coca-Cola said, what did we do? Let's go back to the beginnings. And when they went back to their formula, they started going up and then uh, Pepsi-Cola, because they have always been like this. They have a rivalry. They have a competitive Rivalry. Yeah. I have an example. Yes. We have a new competitive tree in the market. They also make similar products. However, our product is the best. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Another example. One more. One more. Ya tengo dos. One more. A ver, a ver. Volunteer, one more volunteer, one more volunteer. A ver, señorita, señorita Zulema Melesa. No, sí, Marisa. Low prices is, is the biggest mm -hmm. competitive threat for the new products. Okay, very good. Definitely, definitely. Uh, when a company uh, puts low prices, the one that is higher has to lower the prices or will disappear, right? That's competition. And that's why we say, that it is, this competitive threat is one of the forces that shape the competitive landscape of the industry. A mayor competencia dice que. Mm -hmm. Menor demanda. Menor demanda, exactly. Uh, or the opposite, right? Mayor demanda, menor competencia. Bye. Let's go to the last term. A ver. And we have unbiased. Unbiased. Uh, you are unbiased if you can assess situations with a completely open mind. No voy a decir yo, ay, no, pero que a mí no me gusta ese producto. Then you go with a bias. If you say, no, I don't like that product, I prefer the other one. You have a bias. So, entonces sería acá. Bias. De hasta inclinado hacia un lado la balanza. Right? So, when you have a bias, you look at the situation from that side. Imagine I'm putting you to test que eh, salvacola y oran. But, Fanta naranja. That's my favorite. <laughs> so you have salvacola y fanta naranja. What would you say? If you like fanta naranja, you will go to that side and you will favor fanta naranja. But if you say, no, I don't like orange, so I go for salvacola. You cannot be part of this uh, test 
because you are biased, right? You're going to one side. And the purpose of the thing here is that you have to be totally unbiased to be part of this. Um, it says, you look, uh, when, you are, when you have a bias, you look at the situation from the side, such as the side of someone who personally hates seafood, telling you that Lobster Larry's is a terrible restaurant. I wouldn't send my daughters to taste a seafood restaurant because they don't like seafood, right? What they will say is, no, that's a horrible restaurant. Close it <laughs> because they don't like seafood. But an unbiased person doesn't have problem with seafood, right? To be unbiased, you don't have biases affecting you. You are impartial and you would probably make a good judge. Imagine sending a vegan to test carnita de mama chus. What will the vegan say? No, don't go there. Mm -hmm. Don't go to that restaurant. You will only eat meat, right? Because it's a vegan, okay? That person will be looking at one the situation on one side okay who wants to give me an example using unbiased uh the judge was unbiased to decide who win the fight okay very good when well, now we have we're not going to talk about that right now. We will move to here. Check. I'm going to send you to the same groups where you were, and you're going to work with this. You're going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you design in lesson one. See, the number of focus groups, the number of participants per group, the location, the type of test, and the number of items. Eso es lo que van a ir a hacer ahorita. Yo los llamo en 10 minutos porque es corto el tiempo que tenemos ya. Okay. To be clear, teacher, we are going to organize a focus group. A focus group. No van a hacer questionnaire right now, no van a hacer nada más. Por eso los mando con el grupo con el que han trabajado ahora. Eh, think about the number of people in the ¿Cuántos focus groups van a hacer? Uno, dos o tres. The number of participants per focus group. ¿A dónde se van a reunir? Write the location. What type of test will you do? And the number of items that you will put in the questionnaire. 10 questions, 15, 20 questions. Ok. Basha, there you go. Try to join. I take you out in 10 minutes. Teacher, I can't see the invitation. Ya le va a salir por allí. Vamos a ver. Ya la mandó, teacher. O todavía no. Ya. Es que no me sale. Stephanie, ay, que usted no estaba. No, me costó entrar. Hasta las nueve entré. Vamos a ver. Ya. Ya está. Por ahí le mandé. ¿Qué falta Ana Sofía acá? Sofía, ahí está Adriana Sofía. No, no Ana. Ana Sofía. Ana Alicia, sí. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Sí. Es que Ana, no sé por qué no le apareció la invitación. Ya se las mando. Ahí está. A ver si, si le sale. Charringo John. Ok. ¿Y estaba en el libro lo que vamos a hacer? Sí. Yes. Ok. ¿Quién va a compartir? Oh, 
o en un Word? Eh, sí, deberíamos llevarlo. Yo puedo compartir y alguien que pueda llevar un Word. O oh, las dos. Pásamelo un Word. Ok. A ver. Ok, this. Crib work. Organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you design in lesson one. Or service of inclusive summary club, right? Sagamolo de the shampoo. Ajá, algo más. Sí, yo creo que deberíamos ver el, el producto o el servicio. Ok. Ok. The type of sample suitable for product. La muestra, no, el tipo de muestra. Ajá. Tendremos que saber si es un random. Si es para qué, para qué edad, que vamos a hacer, o sea, el tipo de, de en, el, en este caso, si lo hacemos de shampoo, lo tiene Ajá. que probar una, lo tienen que probar personas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, escoger personas de qué edad o de qué color de cabello, o si es de tinte, o si es de caspa, si es caballero, como para mujer. Entonces, podríamos definir el género y el tipo de, pues, para qué tipo ah, de cabello lo vamos a hacer. Podrías, ajá, podríamos identificar como el target sample, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo que estábamos uh -huh. hablando. Ajá. Vale, entonces, sería un target sample y definamos... Eh, edades podría ser no, tipo de cabello género y tipo de cabello ¿le parece? sí, me parece género, tipo de cabello, edad también uh -huh. porque las personas mayores ya usan quizá algo más suave no sé, por las Ajá. ganas o, o que uno ya va, o sea, o va buscando algo que se adecue a su necesidad ¿verdad? no es solo por comprar a veces y si lo hacemos así como para ya gente bien mayor que ya tiene el, el cabello canoso. Ah, también. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya. Ah, pues sería género. Both. Ajá. Me siempre gender. Female and male. Uh -huh. Each. Age. Eh, y en English se dice gray hair. Ajá, gray hair. No es silver. You can look it in the internet. They say gray hair. Mm -hmm. okay. Age 40 and more. Ah. Uh. 45 or more, 45 more. Eh, with, ahí podríamos, ahí podríamos poner with gray hair. Especification. Gray hair. You have to say 45 and up. Mm -hmm. En gender no eran ambos. Uh, yes, we said uh, both. Ajá, female and male. Yes. Yo creo que con eso ya, ya nos vamos. Uh -huh. Vaya. Number of focus here.
How are you doing here? I finished. Yeah, finish. I finished, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm going to check one more group and I call you, okay? Two and three, five people. Two and three, five people. Esos focus groups tienen que agregarle más gente. Only más two. gente. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, por lo menos 15, as a minimum. Okay. Um. Todos los grupos tienen que ser del mismo número de participantes. If you will make uh, three groups, the three groups of 15 people. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Para que haya este representación y no digan, ah, pues sí, pero es que allá recibieron datos diferentes porque no era la misma cantidad de gente. ¿Verdad? What you can do is that one group can be a uh, targeted sample and another group can be random sample. Like that, you can receive a different points of view for testing the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay, 15 people. What about the location? Mm -hmm. Location. Yeah, the location. El Salvador. Ajá, but where? Because El Salvador is, bueno, no es que sea tan grande, vea, pero en general. San Salvador, El Salvador. Centro de San Salvador. Centro de San Salvador, ok. Salvador Center sería, ¿verdad? No, no San, 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 San Salvador. Downtown. That would be downtown. Cuando es, hablamos del no. centro de San Salvador, es downtown. Así, down. Con N, ajá. Down. Solo le pone una N después de down. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Downtown. Downtown. Sí, downtown. San Salvador. Sí. The type of this. Depending on your product. Is, uh, this product was uh, using. Use test. Use, okay. yes, use test. See. Used. Mm -hmm. Use test. And how many items will you put in the questionnaire that the people will answer? Maybe I thought I thought five questions. Is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, como es un use test, there can be only five questions. That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I find. Entonces, ¿les parece así escrito y, y prueba física? Sí, así está bien. Pues sí, porque puede, puede que nos lanzáramos una prueba física y alguien pues podría decir, va, necesito ropa para cierto deporte, que sea boxeo, no sé, algo que no sea muy común. Como muy movido. Uh, no, no muy común, deporte no muy común. Dice writing test and physical, physical test. Okay, y the number of I think in the questionnaire, the number of the items? How many? Yes. 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 Mm. 
No le dijo, oigo. Cuando, cuando dice eh, items, eh, ¿se refiere a products? No, or... a de preguntas. Ah, ok. No, Yo pienso que 10 para no sobrecargar. Ya mm. responder una encuesta de más de 10 es aburrido. Ay, sí. I remember once I answered one about different types of ham. Ay, my goodness. I got tired. I was answering that in a tablet. I was for about mm -hmm. 10 minutes. And this jumping from one question to another, 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 another. At the end, I told the girl... I'm so sorry, I have to leave. Bye bye. Sorry, thank you, thank you. Y ella, no, ya casi, ya casi. No, too long. Like a, like a claro call center interview. Ah, I never answered those. <laughs> <laughs> I never answered them. Because Yo sí la lleno. Más que no han resuelto el problema. Uh -huh. Exactly. They say, I'm going to send you a survey, but they never send it. So I never answer it. No, I like the one of Pizza Hut. <laughs> because La. They, they send you the survey and they offer you palitroques for answering the survey. So the like, the survey dan galletas también. Taco Bell. Ay, Taco Bell, they give you a, a little pastelito, right? And a coffee. Uh -huh. Yes, like that, yes. <laughs> but if they won't give you anything, it's like, uh -huh, 40 minutes, and in this, too long, no. It has to be something short, so people feel happy to do it, right? Okay. Bueno, you finish, right? Yes. Vámonos. Yes. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, 13. Well, 28 minutes. And everybody will be here. Today is 12. Basha, así, quickly, 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 before we go. A ver, group number one is complete. Tell me, what, what do you have? Uh, how many number? How, how many numbers? Estoy mejor yo. How many focus groups? <laughs> Qué We are going to work in a, in a, Shampoo for gray hair, gray hair shampoo. Uh -huh. So we decide that we are going to make two focus group, one for male and one for female. Okay. We are going to, we are going, the location will be a beauty supply, a beauty salon. Mm -hmm. And the, the method we are going to use, uh, we are not sure that it is, if it's it, monadic or used that but because we are going to give them a uh, experience uh, using that shampoo that can be a, a handle see it can be monadic because you yeah. it handle and rate it right mm -hmm. yes yes and and after the experience we are going to make some uh, 10 questions about it Okay. And the age and the age will be from 45 to up. Okay. Okay. So you will use targeted samples in your in your yes. focus. Yes, targeted sample. Yes. That was our exp uh, work. 
Okay, thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. I wear group number two. How many group, uh, focus groups will you make? Nostal group. Okay. Three focus groups. Three focus groups. How many mm -hmm. in each focus group? Uh, five participants per group. Mm -hmm. uh, the location in San Salvador City. Okay. Uh, the type of test is the use test. And the number of items, seven items in the questionnaire. Okay. Okay. Thank you. A ver, room number three, Diego, Jennifer, and Jose Alberto, Rosy. The type of samples she table for the product, sample of clothing, the number of focus group, focus group, three groups, and the number of participants per group, 15 people of each group, the location in downtown San Salvador, the type of test, use test, and the number of items, five are items. Okay, very good. Five questions is enough when you're using the use test. Very good. And the last one, Yvonne, Lisette, Nubia, Estef Karen Stephanie was there too. How many uh, focus groups will you do? Three uh, focal group. <clears throat> With how many participants each? 10 participants. Mm -hmm. What about the location? By group. Uh, is virtual office. Mm -hmm. uh, the type of test is writing test and physical test. Okay. The number of items in the questionnaire is 10 questions for each questionnaire. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thursday tomorrow, right? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Ay, esperen que no le he llamado la plaza attendance, ¿verdad? <gasps> No, teacher. Adriana, Marcela, no, Adriana, Sofía. Present, teacher. Espérenme que se me trago esta cosa. Ana Alicia. Present, teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Present, teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present, teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Michelle. Grace Grace. Ivo Marcela. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisette. Jessica se queda conmigo hoy. Vamos a ver, por ahí andaba Jessica. José Alberto. Present teacher. Eh, Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Lice Dayanara. Present teacher. Ok. Nubia Zulema. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa. Present Ida. teacher. Ok. Present teacher. Victor. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. And Jose Alfredo. Okay. Bueno. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. See you.
Jessica, hello. Jessica, Jessica. Jessica Lisette. Hi, hi. Hello, Jessica. Hi, 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 Jessica, Jessica, Cecily. Okay. Hello, José Alberto. Okay. 